Well, Alan, here we are again. Euro 2024 is just around the corner, and I'm starting to wonder if we'll ever see England win a major tournament in our lifetime. I mean, our lap of appreciation after losing to Iceland was more like a lap of shame. Hardly anyone left in the stadium to appreciate it. Oh, come on, Tom. Maybe everyone left early to beat the traffic. You know how these things go. But seriously, losing to Iceland was a low point. Even my grandmother, who thinks far as some new type of knitting pattern, couldn't believe it. True, but it's not just Iceland. Remember the penalties against Italy? I think I've aged a decade watching us miss those. It's like watching a rerun of the same tragic movie over and over. Yeah, penalties in England go together like fish and... custard. But hey, look on the bright side. At least we didn't lose to San Marino. Yet. Small mercies, Alan. Small mercies. But our performance against Iceland before Euro 2024 was hardly inspiring. Losing 1-0 to the 72nd ranked team in the world is hardly the way to build confidence. Ah, but that's where we lull them into a false sense of security. Classic England strategy. Look uninspired, then bam. Hit them with the old unexpected brilliance. Any decade now. You know, if sarcasm was a sport, you'd be world champion. But seriously, Southgate must be tearing his hair out. The clock is ticking and we're still stumbling around like it's amateur hour. True, true. The opening game against Serbia is in eight days. Maybe they're saving their best for the serious action in Gels and Kirken. Nothing like a bit of last minute magic, eh. We can hope. Southgate's got his work cut out for him. This wasn't the plan, but maybe. Just maybe, they'll surprise us. Or at least not make us cringe too much. That's the spirit. We'll go down in history as the most optimistic fans ever. And if all else fails, we can always look forward to the penalties. For the comedy value, of course. Yeah, nothing like a bit of English football to keep us on the edge of our seats. Or hiding behind them. Here's to hoping for a miracle in Euro 2024. To hope, Tom. And to keeping our sense of humor intact. We might need it.